What is going on everybody? My name is Ryan coming back at you with another supplement review. Today we have a very special guest, my friend Brandon. What's going on guys? He doesn't currently have a YouTube channel, but you can check him out on Instagram at BeMoneyFit. Link will be down in the description below. So today we're coming back at you with another pre-workout review. This is a pre-workout that has received a lot of praise from some supplement reviewers here on YouTube. You may or may not have heard of it before. It is called Leather Phase from Aggressive Labs. I mean, look at this label, people. Yeah, for all you horror movie fans out there like myself, you're definitely going to want to keep this one for sure. So just a little bit of background, Aggressive Labs is a smaller supplement company formed back in 2016. They have the Leather Phase pre-workout, obviously, and they have a few other pre-workouts, I believe. I think Hellnox is one of them that's uh, kind of popular. And they also have a lot of products aimed at cycle support. So a link to their website will be in the description below so you can check out some of their other products. So today we're gonna break down the Leather Phase pre-workout. Is the hype around it real? We're gonna talk about the taste, mixability. We're gonna go over this label, tell you what all the ingredients do, share our personal experiences having used this one a handful of times, and maybe that'll help you decide whether it's for you or not. So starting off with the part that we all care least about, taste. So I believe this pre-workout comes in three different flavors, green apple, slaughter melon, which is like a strawberry watermelon kind of thing. And then I think they have like a sweet tea flavor or something like that. We have green apple right here. And uh, just a little preface, green apple is a flavor that I tend to gravitate towards too, because I generally like apple flavored products. And um, it's probably no surprise that I had no problem with this one. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this flavor. Um, for this being like a more hardcore pre-workout, uh, it's pretty impressive when they can pull off a good flavor. And I had absolutely no problem drinking this one. What about you? Yeah, so actually, unlike Ryan, I've never been too much of an apple, green apple fan of flavoring and really any drink, honestly, including pre-workout. But I do have to say, this one did impress me. Um, it was authentic. Um, I went down e easily. No, um, no problems with texture. It definitely gets a thumbs up in my book. I couldn't ask for more. Yeah, so if you're somebody that struggles to drink pre-workout, um, this one shouldn't be a problem. You're not going to want to throw up from the taste no. or anything like that. So uh, passing grade on flavor. All right, so now that we've covered the easy stuff, we're going to dive into the label of this pre-workout, the part that may tend to confuse some of you guys. So I'm going to put it up on screen so you guys can see what I'm reading. We have the serving size is one level scoop, 20 grams, and 20 grams is a pretty big scoop yeah, size sizable. for a pre-workout. Yeah, pretty sizable. Yeah, so we get 20 servings per container as well. I mean, unfortunately, I'm sure we'd all like to see yeah, 30, 30 or 25, but- You can only have so yeah. much with what are you this kind do? of pre- so uh, anyways, here we go. We have L-citrulline DL malate at eight grams. Uh, that's a pretty good dose of citrulline. Obviously that's a very common ingredient in pre-workouts and pump products. Um, it's gonna help with nitric oxide production and getting that blood to the muscle. So if you've ever taken a pre-workout, you've probably ran into citrulline at some point and eight grams is a good dose. So next up, we have a controversial ingredient here. We have beta alanine at four grams, which is a good dose actually, considering that the clinical dose is only 3.2 grams. Beta alanine is controversial because that is the ingredient that causes the tingling effect. So Brandon, what do you have to say about so that? So I'm definitely one of those people who is on the positive side of it. I love that feeling. It always just gets me in like, it's it's such a mental thing for me. It gets me in the zone, make, makes me understand that, okay, you're going into the gym, you need to focus now. But it's definitely like Ryan said, very controversial. First of all, people either love it or hate it, basically. It's yeah. either one or the other. So, But I'm definitely one of those people. Ryan knows time after time. I love that itch. I love yeah. the itch of beta alanine. So definitely a good dose in this, especially for me. Next up, we have creatine monohydrate at three grams. And this is kind of the, one of the ingredients that I look at it and I kind of wonder why it's in there because most people, if they're taking creatine, they're doing it with a dedicated creatine supplement exactly. and putting three grams in here. Like, yeah, that's a decent dose. Three to five grams is what you should be taking in daily. But I mean, yeah, it may help a little bit with, you know, strength and, you know, getting water to the muscles, but creatine is one of those ingredients that you have to take every day consistently and let it build up in your system over time. So when I see it in pre-workouts, I mean, obviously it's not going to do any harm, but, um, you know, because I don't know, it's just one of those things that I think could be left out especially like a pre-workout like this this isn't even even for the stim junkies out there this isn't one you're going to be taking every day so it's not like you could depend on this for your creatine daily source, creatine source. Yeah. next up we have caffeine and hydrous i'm sure you guys are all familiar with that one we have it here at a whopping 500 milligrams guys this is quite a bit and when i said earlier in the video that this is aimed at advanced users that is why 
definitely. I mean, I mean, 500 milligrams. That's one yeah. of the largest doses I've ever seen on a label of pre-workout. So, but obviously, this is the main stimulant in this pre-workout. Um, I think we all know what caffeine does. Yeah. You know, it'll give you that energy production, a little bit of focus and drive and whatnot. Definitely, just the bread and butter of any good pre-workout. Next up, we have N-acetyl L-tyrosine, which is an ingredient that's going to help with mental focus. 500 milligrams is a good dose. This probably isn't something that you're necessarily going to notice when you take the pre-workout, but it's good to see it on this label. Next up, we have Synephrine HCL. So this is the cousin to the famous Ephedra, and 80 milligrams is quite a bit of Synephrine. Um, what it does is essentially it's another stim again. It'll help with fat burning actually a lot, and um, it has the tendency to produce not really a tingling, but more of like a burning, burning sensation. Burning sensation. And um, like I said, at 80 milligrams, that's a lot. So if there actually is 80 milligrams of synephrine in here, then um, you should be feeling the burn. Definitely. So next up, we have arguably the highlight of the label, 1,3-dimethylamylamine, aka DMAA. So for those of you that don't know what it is, if you've been living under a rock, DMAA is the stimulant that was behind many of the legendary pre-workouts of this decade, yeah. um, including like Jack 3D, original Jack 3D, and APS Mesomorph, just to name a few. Um, at 45 milligrams, that is a pretty good Definitely. amount. It's not, there's definitely uh, some pre-workouts out there with more like dark energy, but um, you know, it's it's a big deal when that's on a label because yeah. this is pretty hard to find nowadays. Especially when you couple all that with um, all the other stims and ingredients in this, uh, it doesn't matter even though it's not the highest DMA that we've seen on a label, but definitely coupled with everything else, definitely, definitely a good, good dose. Next up, we have black pepper extract at 10 milligrams. That's for absorption. Uh, again, it's not something that you're gonna feel. It's just gonna help get these ingredients into your system faster. Last up, we have Yohimbian HCL. Not to be confused with Alpha Yohimbian. This is not the ingredient that may give you uh, some adverse reactions like the cold chills and sweats and drooling even. Um, this is just gonna help with uh, thermogenesis and at three milligrams, it's a decent dose. Again, something that we like to see in here. Okay, so now for the part that you all came here for, and arguably the most important part, the experience. So, Brandon and I got this pre-workout on a buy one, get one 50 deal on MassSupplements.com. So we both got the pleasure, or maybe displeasure, yeah. of uh, getting to use it a handful of times. So, let me just start off by saying that this label, I do not believe to be true. Um, based off of a lot of the other reviews that were posted a year ago, I believe when this pre-workout came out by um, channels like the Review Bros, uh, Muscle Players, Fitness Deal News, they all raved about this pre-workout. But since we bought this recently, um, I, have a, I have a feeling that within between then and now, um, it's been reformulated, uh, no doubt in my mind. So we're gonna go through the experience. Um, taking it, uh, like we said, the taste was great. Yeah, um, honestly, might have been the best part, to yeah. be quite honest. Yeah, so uh, the taste was great. Going into the workout, we did feel the beta alanine tangle. Um, you know, that was there. Definitely a little bit um, there, yeah. Yeah, so at four grams, I mean, that's something you would expect. Probably should But But um, I, I hate to say this, but I think the beta alanine might be the only ingredient that I can actually, actually. confirm is in here. Because... I didn't really feel anything else. Nothing. You know, I, I did go in with pretty high expectations based off of the reviews and whatnot, but um, I have to say at no point did I feel any sort of energy kick, did I feel any sort of mood elevation, or um, even the pumps, like, it really wasn't Black there. Luster, very, I mean, you go in with high hopes like this, for all we know, the experience felt like it could have been 50 gram, milligrams of caffeine, I mean, yeah. you know, and it's some beta mixed yeah. in. There might even be a little bit of caffeine in here, I'm really not sure. Um, I, I doubt there, that there's synephrine in here, and I can say with 99.99% .99 certainty that there is no DMAA in here. So... We also just want to note that we have taken pre-workouts that have real DMAA, or at least we believe have real DMAA. We've tried Magnitude Life Sciences, Dark Energy, definitely felt definitely that. Felt, felt um, the DMAA. Imperial no. Nutrition, Excelsior. I mean, these are both amazing pre-workouts, which we may or may not do a review on later, but um, they felt absolutely nothing like the leather face, not even the slightest bit. Um, needless to say, this was extremely disappointing, and um, we wanted to make this video for two reasons. Number one, so that hopefully nobody sees this on a BOGO 50 and buys it, and uh, number two, to prove that um, there's really no strings attached with the reviews on this channel. We're not here to sell you anything. If something sucks, we're going to tell you, and um, 
this sucks. This sucks. Yeah. So, um, really, that's it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Um, even if you're uh, looking for a decent green apple tasting hmm. product, you could get some BCAAs that are green apple yeah, flavored honestly. that probably taste better. So, um, I recommend this to no one. If any of you guys have tried it recently or maybe have an old tub, um, please let me know down in the comments yeah, because please. I really would like to talk about this. And um, another thing, um, you know, maybe if you buy it from somewhere else and get an old batch or I don't know. But um, this is just our experience from the two tubs that we ordered from MassSupplements.com. We felt nothing. No. Besides a little bit of beta no, alanine honestly, tingling. The BOGO brought it down to just over, what, $20 yeah, per so, tub. It wasn't even worth yeah. any, a penny of that. So. Yeah, and unfortunately, they were both open and used, so we couldn't return them. But that's but, why we wanted to let you guys know, because we care about you. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up if this helped. Leave a comment if you have any experience with this yourself or if you just want to say hi or have any questions. Um, if you are looking for a DMAA pre-workout, I would highly recommend Dark Energy from Magnitude Life Sciences or uh, Imperial Nutrition Excelsior. It doesn't claim to have DMAA, but uh, this is one of the better pre-workouts that I've taken. So, check out Brandon on Instagram, like we said, and subscribe for more videos like this. Catch you guys soon.